hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in this world i hope very good luck to you all okay today i am here to share you an update on our one of the sessions okay few days ago one of the student came to me and asked me sir i have a problem so okay, what is the problem so i am seeing your video which you made on azure devops demo generator but i am not able to follow the same steps because there is a change from microsoft side okay then what i did okay i have gone through the steps and i thought okay this is kind of new thing that i need to share with my students now i am here so i wanted you to understand okay what is azure devops demo generator okay azure devops demo generator is a kind of tool by using which you can create demo projects okay what what are the demo projects if you if you have already created an organization if you see in my current organization i have created multiple projects okay i have created an aks project i have created a node js project i have created a Doc, docker project so what are all these projects will do when you create a project by using devops demo generator if you go inside everything will be ready okay there is a proper source code readily available there are a few work items readily available there is a pipeline also readily available by using all this you can continue your practice it will help you a lot while you are practicing this azure devops demo generator either you work on work items repositories and pipelines so that's the reason demo generator is a very good tool by which you can create multiple projects and practice it can be any project you can use docker terraform a case any other kind of external services that you integrate with your azure devops projects or organization now what happens so generally in my video i told you okay if you see here okay what i told you so i told you to go to google and search for azure devops demo generator terms okay azure you can see a page where you can sign in and create your projects see here you can choose the templates we have different templates devops labs microsoft learn azure community cloud adoption framework these all are like categories and inside that categories you have multiple projects now a student came to me and asked me sir i searched for azure devops demo generator and i went to the page but i am not seeing that sign in page what you showed in this video okay here you asked me to go sign in page but here it is not there then i did some research and i understand microsoft is doing a good thing okay if you wanted to become a devops engineer you should have a kind of developer practice it's not like that you go to the portal just give a few clicks and create the project right they want you to do it in a right developer way that's the reason what they did they gave you the complete azure devops demo generator source code they uploaded it to github okay, the source code itself is available in github guys you can simply go and browse anything inside the source code okay this folder is nothing but the actual source code of azure devops demo generator so if you are well aware of the things how c sharp code is developed how it creates things it's better go through the source folder but before the source folder this is the actual document you need to follow okay but the problem here is if you click on this okay it is directly taking you to the page called run application md but as a developer who regularly uses github i have another way okay if you are going to use azure devops demo generator google it or go to the github inside github search it okay azure devops demo generator see i got two repositories kind of two projects why two okay let me show you that as well this is the old one this is the new one okay why i am calling old one because inside this source the actual generator is still called as vsts demo builder vsts demo builder what is vsts the old name of azure devops it was like seven years ago guys seven years ago vsts got renamed to azure devops in 2018 see here the oldest file in this repository was committed seven years ago so don't use this azure devops demo generator don't use this use ag devops demo generator okay so here you have the source folder inside the source folder you have this ado generator inside this ado generator you have these templates see these all are templates what is ac azure community what is caf cloud adoption framework now if you see here uh, let me drag and 
X plus C, DL DevOps Labs, AC Azure Community, CAF Cloud Adoption Framework. Now you go on to the code and see this AC AG Azure Community, CAF Cloud Adoption Framework, DL DevOps Labs, and then General MSL. All are there. MSL means Microsoft Learn. Okay, this way what Microsoft did is they gave you entire source code, guys. Now you are a DevOps engineer, nothing but a developer. You know how things got developed, so you need to understand everything. So now go to the docs and go to the run application MD. So these are the actual steps. So when you click on this page, it is directly taking you to run application MD. Where this run application MD that is in this repository inside docs folder. Now, before going through this, okay, try to spend some time. So when you go to any GitHub repository, so the first thing you need to do is read the readme file guys so what is this azure devops demo generator and how you can contribute so what microsoft expecting is so as a devops engineer who is practicing azure devops so if you want some changes or if you want to make those kind of changes make the changes and give you a pull request see here there is already a pull request who want to make some changes so if microsoft accepts or if microsoft is okay with those changes they will make those changes to your source code that means you can modify your own azure devops demo generator whatever you want to have whatever changes that you would like to see you can do those changes and tell microsoft microsoft this change looks good this might help other people as well so you review my code change and merge the code into the main branch so that everyone will see the useful changes in the demo generator that is second part guys today we need to understand how to use it okay so read the readme and have clear understanding what is this repository how to use it now let's go to the actual steps page which is nothing but run application.md so to use this azure devops demo generator there are some prerequisites okay here you can see the prerequisites so what it says either you need to have .NET 8 version sdk or visual studio okay how to get .NET 8 sdk that is the main thing guys search for dotnet sdk you will see the page where you can download this dotnet sdk what is sdk software development kit guys okay you can use this area have two active versions one is nine another one is eight okay so you can use either nine or eight so this document says okay what this document says this document says to use eight only for that reason what I need to do I downloaded 8 you can see here I downloaded 8 if I go to my downloads I downloaded 8 version and I already installed it guys now if I am here so once after installation complete go to your CMD command window and verify like dot net version okay I installed the latest version 80410 let me show you so if I go here, see the recent version is 80410. Okay, I downloaded it and installed it. Now I'm ready. Now if I go to this page, okay, what it says? First you need to .NET build, then .NET run, then .NET publish. So don't think of this Visual Studio. You no need Visual Studio when you are using .NET CLI command line interface by installing .NET SDK. So just follow these steps. Clone the repository. I cloned it. Go to the folder. I cloned it to my F drive. Here it is. So this is my AG DevOps demo generator. Okay. I ran this .NET build. I ran this .NET run. I ran this .NET publish. Now if I go to this location. Okay. CD source. Okay. CD source. Then just have the path guys. ADO generator, okay, ADO generator, then bin folder, then bin folder, then release folder, then release folder, the actual .NET version, Windows version, now you can see here, ADO generator .exe, see this, ADO generator .exe, I need to run this, okay, now I copy this entire path, now I am moving to this folder, paste anyway okay see now 
first i am changing this entire path to this folder publish folder okay publish folder okay now if you see here publish folder then inside publish folder i have ado generator.exe okay now if you see here inside now i need to run this .exe file enter okay enter oh something gone wrong guys let me do this yeah see now literally i am running that ado demo generator azure devops demo generator inside my pc now i have all the templates see general category devops category microsoft learn category azure community category cloud adoption framework category and some faster category as well now i have everything okay now i want to create a project okay let me see here okay, this is my actual azure devops account i have multiple projects let me see if i have any other project okay uh, mm, let me i will choose a terraform project guys so where is terraform project see the number is 6 okay terraform project is 6 let's take okay choose 6 enter okay terraform is present it is verified it is terraform so do you want to proceed with this extension okay extension name terraform and the extension name replace tokens okay when i wanted to install or create terraform project i need two extensions one is terraform another one is replace tokens let me verify guys i might have these extensions already in my organization because i already used terraform previously go to extensions okay go to extensions hope you are understanding because this all will help you guys okay let's search for terraform okay i have terraform okay i have terraform then what is the other one they are saying replace tokens let me search that as well yeah, i have replace tokens both are there now what i can do is do you want to proceed with this extension no i don't want to i just only okay extensionalization is not confirmed okay authentication mode how you want to authenticate device login or personal access token i already told you in my previous videos when you are working with azure devops organization projects it's always better to choose pat token guys so i'm going with pat okay organization name what is our organization name rajesh organization okay i will give this name guys don't forget it asked only the organization name not the entire url because this tool this demo generator tool can communicate with your azure devops account don't give entire url like dev.azure.com slash your organization name only give the organization name now it's asking for pat token where is my pat token hope you don't copy my pat token it's there in this repository itself okay okay don't copy guys control c okay even if you copy this token is already revoked from my organization just for this video purpose i created new one see pat token is validated now the new project name terraform practice okay now if i go here let's make sure i don't have any project like terraform practice where i can confirm better go to organization settings go to the projects see here i can search for terraform no there is no terraform then i am good okay terraform practice enter see now it is creating terraform practice project where i can see that now if we come here just wait for a couple of seconds just check this okay source code imported project created now if you see here where is this project dun, 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 dun. somewhere it is created yeah terraform practice it's created guys if i go inside if i go repo the repository came 
Now if you go to the command line window, another project, see project created successfully. Yes, I can see the project created successfully. So I have the source code. Now what I can do is, I don't want to create any other project. It is asking for, do you want to create new project? No. Give no. Done. Exiting the application. Hope this helps you guys. Because the way, the way we create demo projects is changed. Now you can create any kind of project. Okay, any kind of project by using Azure Demo Generator. Okay, don't forget to follow the actual documentation. So this is the repository and these are the docs. Inside the docs, you can go through this file and then have good great projects created and continue your practice guys. Hope this helps you. Thank you. All the best.